Firefox Quantum is the newest, safest, and fastest version of Firefox to date. I'm currently doing all of this in version 58. With this also comes included with a bunch of new features to try and make life a little bit more convenient. But at times these new features can be more inconvenient if you're like me. Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech. One of the most annoying things that Firefox keeps adding with every new version is if you go into your address bar at the top and you start typing anything at all. The very first line that comes up is search with Google. It's a built-in function that lets you just search automatically in your default search engine with whatever you start typing here. Well, for people like me, I have a search bar over here in the top right hand corner. This first line up here throws everything off. Because I know for me personally, I'm all about speed and accuracy in here. So if I hit A, I know the first thing I'm going to try and get to is Amazon. And having this extra line at the very top here every single time is kind of annoying. So the first thing you need to do to be able to fix this is to find out where your profile folder is stored for your Firefox installation. The easiest way to do it is from within Firefox, just open up a blank tab and type about colon support all one word, no spaces, and hit enter. And this is gonna bring up the troubleshooting information for your Firefox install. And you can see I'm using version 58.0.1 and the build ID is right down here. About halfway down the list, you're gonna see an option here that says profile folder. And it has the file path to where your default profile is. Now, if you've gone through and created multiple profiles, then you'll see more than one past this profile line here. But for most people, this dot default user is going to be where everything's stored. Now the easiest way to get to it from here is just click the open folder button and it's going to open up your Firefox profile automatically. But another way you can get to it is to right click the start button, click on run. From here type percent sign app data appdata and then percent sign again to close it off. And then when you hit enter or click OK, it's going to open up your roaming folder. So you will scroll down and you look for your Mozilla folder. You look for Firefox profiles and there's your default profile again as i said before if you have more than one profile this is where you'll see all of them listed here so if you were trying to do this fix make sure it's doing it for the profile that you want it to be in for everybody else just open up the default user folder okay from inside here this is where all your files are so be real careful not to start deleting things or moving things around just because you want to make life as easy as possible and for this trick go ahead and completely close out of firefox because you have to have it closed before it'll take the settings here Inside your profile folder here, right click anywhere that's available inside the bar here and go down to new and choose folder. And it's going to pop up a folder with it already highlighted to be able to rename it. It just says new folder. Rename it as Chrome, like the uh, other browser, C-H-R-O-M-E. doesn't matter if it's lowercase or not. And hit enter to rename it. Now inside here, what you're going to do is you're going to do something a little bit more complicated. So follow along here. You're going to right click, go down to new, and you're going to choose text document. This isn't too bad, this is something a lot of you may have already done. Okay, now you're going to rename this, but not just yet. So, go ahead and open it up, and here's where it's going to be a little bit challenging. You have to be able to paste in some code that I'm gonna provide for you on the screen. And I'm also gonna put this down in the video description down below, so you can literally just copy and paste it. And I'll blow it up so it's big on the screen in case you wanna take in case you want to type it out manually but it basically says pop out complete rich list rich list item type search engine visibility collapse this is this is the line in the system that's making that search with line pop up at the very top here so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this either off of the screen if you want to type it in manually or out of the video description information down below and you're going to paste it into this new document here so it looks exactly like this make sure it looks exactly like this no other thing is listed here now what we're going to do is we're going to do file and save as. The first thing you need to do before changing anything else is go down to this save as type box right here and change it from text document to all files. This will allow you to be able to save it as a different file extension than .txt. So what you need to do now is you're going to name it user chrome.css. You spell it out exactly like I have here and then click on save. And now you're going to see it has a little bit of a different icon than a standard style text document here. It's got this little piece of paper with the cog in here. A CSS is a style sheet, basically. It allows you to make different kinds of customizations to websites and browsers. What this does is it tells Firefox to ignore that line of code. So now when you open up your Firefox installation and you hit a letter, you can see now at the very top that search with is completely gone. 
So this is one of the things that always annoyed me every time there was a new version of Firefox was having to figure out how to remove this line. So if you're like me and you don't want that there, this is how you go about doing that. A big thank you to some of the gentlemen on the Firefox CSS Reddit forum that helped me get this lined out properly to make sure I got it all working before I showed you guys how to do it. Now, as I said, this is a bit more technical and complicated than a lot of people are familiar with. So I tried to go as slow as possible. But if you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can help you out the best of my ability. And hopefully with the next version of Firefox they come out with, they won't completely change it around again. So if you're watching this down the road somewhere and your version of Firefox is version 59 or version 60 or whatever you're actually on and it's not working, just keep in mind that Firefox and Mozilla could have changed how it's done again. This works for 58. So if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. Again, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can help you out. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.